Welcome to Trailwise again. I'm Nina Barlow. Remember when we were on the trail the other day, we fixed that winch rope. We did a trail fix on it, but we noticed a number of things that we wanted to address when we got back to the garage. Well, we're here now, and so that same winch, now we're going to address uh, the rope that was too short and dirty, needed some attention. The Haas fair lead was chewed up. Grab your gloves and let's get to work. We need to replace the Haas and we need to replace this, this whole rope. But actually we're just gonna replace it with the cleaned up end that we cut off because that was the longer part of the rope. That was about 80 feet of rope. So that's gonna be what we put back on the drum. Out here in Arizona, I'm either you know, only winching um, uh, within about 20 or, 20 or 30 feet or, or it's like 200 feet and I'm gonna have a bunch of winch line extension out. Anyways, on um, the first topic of, of the fair lead, we have several choices. What I have ordered is the new Haas Pro uh, second gen. Um, that's gonna be a couple weeks before that gets here. So in the meantime, I need to use something that I have on the shelf. I have uh, a couple of other Haas fair leads. This is a machined piece of aluminum. Um, this is not bad, but you can see it still almost wants to have a little bit of sharp edges, not a big radius there. I'm not a fan of that. I like a nice big radius. Um, this, is just kind of a hollow cast. Look at the back side of this thing. Um, so it looks nice and smooth, looks like a decent radius, but this is a kind of what I call this pot metal. It's not, not something I necessarily want to run on my vehicle. Um, and it's similar to, this is kind of a hollow cast that's on here. What I'm going to put on here though, is some good old fashioned, old school steel rollers. These are going to be the least amount of friction and the most heavy duty option that I have on the shelf right now. Uh, once that Haas Pro gets here, we'll throw that on there. It's a, the Haas Pro is really the best of both worlds. It's a this size and a small profile and weight, um, but with the capacity of the roller to reduce the friction. When these, these rollers can move freely, that's what you want. You want a nice clean surface. This is just a little dirty from sitting on the shelf, but there's no burrs or scratches or scars on here, and you can tell these move freely. So that's what we want. You will hear, hear some people say, you can't put roller fair leads on with synthetic rope and I want to know why not uh, most of the arguments are oh well it can get caught in the rollers uh, not if you have good rollers um, you know if you're at this angle it's going to be hitting this if you're at a down downward angle you the way this is designed you really can't get um, a rope caught in the rollers um, and you shouldn't be winching at that severe of an angle anyways, ideally. The biggest detriment, uh, the, the drawback of the big steel rollers is they're heavy. And also they stick out quite a bit more. And so if like me, you occasionally have a, a frick frack with a rock, <laughs> um, you can damage these and then they're not usable anymore. So you gotta watch out for that. Okay, so I've given myself a little slack. So I have some room to work and get this fair lead off. Um, I've identified the sockets. This is a, a thin walled 17 millimeter on the front and then the nut on the back is a 16 millimeter. I'm probably gonna wanna replace that with some better hardware. If there's room, let's get this one off first though. Okay, so what, of course I realized, it's gonna be easier to go ahead and replace this rope while we have the fair lead off. So we're gonna do that next, and then we'll finish up uh, by putting the, the fair lead back on. We're going to disengage that winch. There we go. Let's go ahead and pull all this off. Look at all that dirt in there. Okay, so what I realized looking at that rope after I got it off is I think that the problem is this attachment. I think it's actually, it wasn't damage done by the fair lead or by anything in the field. I think it's this funky attachment. Let me show you. Look at that guy. Sharp edges, bad. We're gonna eliminate that. So now we've got the rope off the drum. We're gonna save this sleeve because this red sleeve um, helps protect the winch line. Good protective sleeve is never a bad idea. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove this off of the old line. Look at how clean this rope is once we've taken that protective sleeve off. We still have our thimble 
that we spliced in the other day on a trail fix. And so this is a very usable 20 feet. We'll splice another thimble or a little protective piece on this end. And now we have ourselves a little 20 foot winch line extension. So we'll definitely make use of that. All that red dirt is coming off of there. It is not rust, so that's good. So I am cleaning up the 80 feet of rope that I cut off the front of the winch the other day on the trail. We're gonna just try to work out as much of the dirt as possible out of the rope using just plain water. All right, so we've got the drum all cleaned up and ready to go, ready to tie the, the newly refreshed 80 feet of rope back on the drum. Um, now it's time to put the fair lead on. So here we go, we're gonna line this up. All right, get these nuts started here. Now these don't have to be torqued to any certain specification. We just use a, some good elbow, elbow grease to tighten them up. <laughs> the torque of the winch is not on the fair lead. Hopefully there's not that much pressure on the fair lead anyway, so that's a lot of strain on your rope if your rope uh, is pushing that hard on the fair lead. Now we're going to mount the rope on the drum. So we're going to attach this to the drum using a technique I used from Safe Extract. So we fed the rope through here around the bottom of the drum. And now we're going to just make a bite through here, around, there we go, back under the drum, over the drum. Oh, you can see this in here. <laughs> and then under this rope and through. We've got this winch rope securely attached to the drum now. So you can see, got a nice bite in there. Um, this is a technique that you can see the nice clear diagram on safeextract.com. We will post a link in the description below. Um, so now this is firmly on the drum. Now we can wind this rope up and be ready to be back in business here. Not the most perfect wine, but very serviceable. <laughs> All right, we're looking pretty good. So thanks for helping out in the garage today. We are ready to hit the trail. Um, until next time, you can follow all of our antics on Instagram at Barlow underscore adventures. Of course, you can learn all about all of our trips and training on our website, barlows.us. Hit the like and subscribe and the, ding the little notification bell so you don't miss any of our new postings right here on YouTube. And until next time, be safe out there, be trail wise on our public lands and happy trails. <laughs>